gentlemen, what is up? My brothers from another mother, I'm bringing you another video on the dating side of things. I did a video a few months back that I titled the three types of women that you want to avoid dating. Well, in today's video, I've got three more for you. Let's dive right into it so we can get down this rabbit hole quickly. The first one, I'm gonna call them the bar stars and the dancing queens, really the same thing. These are the women that are always out going clubbing and partying and salsa dancing and dancing with their girlfriends on a consistent basis. I'm not talking about the ones that go out for somebody's birthday every few months or something. I'm talking about on a regular basis, they're out with their girlfriends, dancing on tables or picking up dudes, whatever it might be. And a lot of them will dismiss it and just say, oh, you know, it's what we like to do. It's fun, da 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 da. That's fine, I get it. But the truth of the matter is when you break down what going out and clubbing is all about. Let's let, let's just take it a bit of a step back. Think about what women got to go through to get ready to go out, okay? You know, they, they always complain that guys are dogs and liars and all this sort of thing, but the truth of the matter is, is nobody's a bigger liar than a woman. They're not as tall as they say they are. They're not as pretty as they say they are. They're wearing a lot of makeup. Their hair is not as, you know, beautiful or tinted or blonde or whatever it is as it looks. You know, it's often been colored. Their boobs aren't as big as they say they are because they're wearing a push-up bra or they've had their tits done. And when you get the fatties, they're probably wearing Spanx. So they go through a considerable amount of effort to try to look attractive. And it's not attractive for anything more than just the opposite sex. They're not doing it to look better than their girlfriends or any, anything, even though some might lead you to believe that. The truth of the matter is they're doing it because they're looking for attention. And these bar stars, you know, these women that go out on a frequent basis doing that, that's something you want to try to avoid. It's not a social event. The, the, the whole process of getting dressed up and getting ready to go out dancing, you're dancing with the opposite sex. A dance is a, it is a mating ritual. Throughout history, throughout time, in primitive civilizations, even in today's world, if you went to the Amazon or if you went to, uh, you know, somewhere in Africa, to tribes, they use dancing as a mating ritual. It's the same thing in the nightclubs and the bars or salsa dancing, whatever, especially salsa dancing. It's a very sexual kind of dance. Um, these, these, these sorts of women you want to try to avoid. You know, I could, I could share many, many stories. Um, uh, you know, women, <laughs> I actually know one woman in, in particular uh, who had a kid uh, with another guy who had her boyfriend slash husband watch the kid while she went out dancing and was pregnant with his kid. So these women, they just don't make good choices. They're a little thick in the head. Try to avoid them if you can. Okay, let's move on to number two. The second woman that you want to try to avoid is the one that has uh, a lack of financial intelligence. They just haven't got their money sorted out straight. They're constantly in debt. Bill collectors are calling them. Uh, they, you know, they never have cash for anything. You're always paying for it all. They can never pick up the tab. They're just financially destitute. You know, I know that some guys will trade looks for financial status. Uh, you know, especially older guys that have themselves established and they have money. They don't mind trading that for a younger, uh, prettier girl. That's fine if that's, you know, if that's what you want to do, I get it, you know, no problem. Um, but if you're around the same age group and you're dating, you want to stay away from these women that are broke as a joke, okay? You don't need to baby them. You don't need to, to, to uh, uh, protect them. <laughs> you certainly don't need to rescue them. They're a grown ass adult. Let them act like a grown ass adult. If you're finding yourself buying them clothes, paying their bills, paying their rent, you're a chump. I'm just gonna call it like it is. I call a spade a spade and I point to the facts. You're a chump. Stop doing that. Don't wait, don't date women like that. Okay, and the third woman that I'm gonna recommend that you stay away from are the jealous types. They are a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. I remember in my 20s, I was I was living with this girl. I was dating her for a while, and she was. Uh, I don't even like. I don't even know where to start. But it wouldn't be uncommon for her to approach me with a receipt from a restaurant, you know, from a steakhouse uh, that was in my change tray from like a. I don't know, a Thursday lunch that I'd been at, and she'd look at it and be like, well, there's a steak and there's a salad, so he went out on a date with a girl, and, I, and I'd literally have to explain to myself, hey, I was on a recruiting binge, and yes, I was out with a woman that we were interested in recruiting for the company that I worked for at the time. She eats a salad. 
I don't need to defend myself or explain what I'm doing on work time. That is what it is. You need to mind your own business and stay out of my business or my work affairs. Any woman that is jealous or has jealousy issues is going to be a nightmare for you. She will invade your privacy. She'll go through your emails. She'll go through your private belongings. The same, <laughs> to share another story, the same woman, she went through my walk-in closet once and at the back of the closet, it's funny that I'm remembering this now because it was such a point of stress in my life. At the back of the closet, I had some boxes and in one of the boxes, um, there was some photographs um, that had, you know, when you're younger, you keep photographs, a printed kind. This is before digital JPEGs and stuff like this. I'm gonna date myself, obviously, because I'm 42, but this is where you would actually go to the photo mat and, and have your film developed and printed up. And she found photographs uh, which included some from an ex-girlfriend. And I remember she goes, oh, I found your shrine from, you know, Kelly, I think was her name at the time that I was dating before her. And I was just like, man, these women are energy vampires. They will suck you dry of your energy and your dignity, always having to explain to her, you know, if she found a hair in my car that wasn't, you know, she was a brunette and she found a blonde hair in my car. Again, I don't need to explain myself. I work with people and sometimes women get in my car when we have to go places, to a meeting or to lunch or if we're entertaining a client or something like that. It's the nature of being employed and having to interact with people socially. These, 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 these jealous types want you to be a hermit and live under the control of their thumb. Avoid them at all costs. Gentlemen, that's three more types of women that I'd recommend avoiding. What is this guy doing? I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think I might have missed. I might do another more detailed video on it. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm gonna put a card up to the other three types of women that I had generated in the other video. It seemed pretty popular and you guys liked it. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If there's somebody that needs to see this, please share it with them. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace.